Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, hello, boys and girls, moms and dads. Welcome to Hebrews Modern School Academy. This is fifth grade mathematics, week number 24 and day number two. All right, so today we're going to be talking about perimeters again and calculating perimeters. In other words, how do you find the distance around certain objects? That's what a perimeter is, right? You can remember that. But today we're going to be talking about perimeters of compound shapes. So if you have a shape that looks like this, all right, the shape looks like this. And then how do we find its perimeter? Can we use the formula that we talked about yesterday? To find its perimeter? Well, the answer is going to be no. We cannot use a formula to calculate uh, the perimeter of a compound shape readily. I mean, you can try to manipulate it, but it's going to be better just to go ahead and add those lines, add those distances together individually to find the perimeter. So let's take a look at this example. So this, this is going to be the compound shape. It looks like, <laughs> like little uh, a big L like that, but then they've gone ahead to break it down further into a couple of squares to give us the flexibility of calculating its perimeter. And the whole idea is each of these squares is four inches long. So there's four inches over there, four inches, four inches, four inches. Well, we can go ahead and do four plus four plus four plus four and all of that, but to save time, all you need to do is to count the number of fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So each of the sides is four inches long and there are 12 equal sides. So the perimeter will be simply four multiplied by 12, which is gonna be equivalent to 48 inches, all right? assuming that these uh, are in inches over there. All right, so that's just a simple way to calculate perimeters of compound shapes. When you have the perimeter of a compound shape, your first port of call is to try to break down the shape into regular shapes. So for example, if we're given another theme like this, and they were to tell us maybe this is eight, and maybe this is six, and maybe this is three, maybe this is two, and maybe this is 10, or, and maybe this is gonna be another three. Well, what is the perimeter of a shape like this? Well, go ahead and add it together because all the sides are not equal in this case. So we're gonna say three plus three plus 10 plus eight, and then plus six and plus two. Well, what does that give us? Three plus three is six. Six plus 10 is gonna be 16. 16 plus eight is gonna be 24. 24 plus six is gonna be 30, and 30 plus two is gonna be 32. All right, so 32 inches in this case over there. So there are multiple ways you can go around it. So when you're given a shape like this, that is compound, that is a compound shape. In other words, you can break the shape down into simpler shapes. That's the meaning of a compound shape. Go ahead and add all the distances together to find its perimeter. All right. Did you get something from it? I sure hope so. All right, let's go ahead and turn to page number 174. You are going to see additional things over there to retain this content a little bit better. I want to thank you, boys and girls, for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye bye. your hero's body and as you study with heroes born I will be your friend so don't you worry